my granddaughter had, had nappy rash. Uh, and they'd been, the kids had been off to the chemist shop and paid a huge amount of money for this little tube of cream that wasn't having any results at all. So I said, why don't you use Vaseline? We used it on you and it worked. And they said, oh, you can't use that. It's, you can't use petroleum jelly, it's a poison. Rubbish. And it was a big row. So I actually went and started doing some research and found the kids were right and the old man was wrong. You shouldn't really use petroleum products on a baby's skin. So I started looking to see how I could do better and I ended up having to look to see what plants would do the things that I wanted. I wanted to be able to stop a scab forming and keep the skin flexible and encourage the skin to, to heal without, without scarring. And eventually I come up with the invisible glove and it works. Different to anything you've ever seen. It actually goes into the skin. You only need a little bit. It goes right in the skin. It's totally absorbed. Anything that isn't absorbed by the skin is wasted. It goes into the skin completely and nothing can get to the skin. Detergents, chemicals, solvents, grease, and the one thing that everybody overlooks, perspiration. People forget that perspiration is part of the waste elimination process. And depending on uh, what you've been eating, your stress levels, uh, the environment, your, your perspiration or sweat can have some very irritating uh, acids and salts in it. If you don't believe perspiration is an irritant, get some in a cut or get some in your eye and it's things like blazers. You'll see a lot of people get a rash under the watch or under a ring or when they're wearing gloves. The perspiration has been held in contact with the skin and it's irritated it. Once you get irritated, you perspire more to cool it down and then it gets worse. What the invisible glove does, it stops the perspiration getting back on the skin. You can sweat through it, but nothing, including your own perspiration, can get back on the skin. Once you remove that irritation, the body can then heal itself up. But while it's constantly being irritated, you've got an ongoing problem. Well, I, I had a look at, at, at what's happened to us. We seem to have become very, very clever, and we've got all the chemicals in the world to do all wonderful things. But if you go right back, go back a couple of hundred years, we started off with plants and everything we made, our soaps, our creams, everything was, was based on, on really natural plant extracts. As we progressed, we found a chemical that would imitate that plant, another chemical that would imitate that plant, and I really think we lost the plot. What I did was take a step back 200 years and start again, and instead of getting sidetracked and going down the chemical path, working on what we learned on plants and the new plant extracts we have, and going back and using the knowledge from, from way back. I got a call from this lady, very, very concerned. She had twin boys and they had bad eczema and she'd heard about the invisible glove. The boys are about 13 weeks of age and um, Griffin had had something to eat prior the night before that really aggravated him. And um, it just went from there. He was just started on the face and then rashed sort of right through um, and then Rhett developed it about a week later. Went to the GP and he said, you know, they're going to have prone to eczema and within two months they were just looked like they'd been burnt. We had to use steroids and bandage them and it just got worse and worse. They had their allergies tested and so we did an elimination of foods and, and we tried in this period of time all these different creams. Each week I was trying stuff internally, like naturopathically. And eventually we just got to the point where nothing was working. So I said, this, this is a go, give it a try. And she was very, very concerned because of the babies and they're so fragile and so small. And she rang up a couple of days later and said, um, oh, we've decided we'll, we'll try the invisible glove. I said, good, go to your post office box, it's waiting for you. He didn't charge me and he sent me the tube out. And I said to Jeanette, I said to my wife, She'll be ringing on Monday. This was on the Wednesday. She'll be ringing on Monday with the results. And we were amazed. Within two days, the boys were 70% improvement. Even the GP was amazed at how much their skin had improved. The doctor said, this can't happen. There's no way. She said, it's clearing. It's nearly all gone. Is this right? She said, it's only been two days. She said, that's about right. That's when we expect to see results. And that's normal. That's so she's, she's quite happy. So now we've been using it for about a three year period and it has kept their skin stable 
and it's great because it's all natural. We used to use it on their nappy rash when they were little. Um, just everything, like all on their, you know, hands, face, everywhere. It's a very, very safe product. And yeah, it was great. It, it's kept them stable for this length of time and their skin's never been better. So I just solely, mainly love the invisible glove. I live and breathe it. A lot of products claim they have no sodium lauryl sulfate in them. We can guarantee ours none. We'll take through a spectrographic analysis and prove there's none. You'll find there's a, a lot of products, shampoos, body wash, that claim to have no sodium lauryl sulfate. Well, maybe they haven't added any, but the actual process of making it, using chemicals along with natural products, produces sodium lauryl sulfate in the product as a byproduct of the process. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate in a plant, and we only use plant extracts. The results we get are brilliant. Well, being a mechanic, my hands were always in grease and solvents and pet wool and everything else. Um, especially through winter, my hands would crack up, get to the stage where they'd, you'd bend your fingers and they'd crack and bleed in your joints. Well, Keith is um, a mechanic. I used to have a beer of an afternoon in a, in a tavern. He came in and I was showing him the globe. And I said, it stops splits hands in the winter time. No more split hands, no more rough elbows, knees. And he said, oh, I need that every winter. My hands fall to bits. So I gave him a tube, said, try this. Um, since using the invisible glove, uh, I haven't had that problem whatsoever through winter and I don't get through half as much hand cleaner because it grease washes off so much easier and uh, cuts on my hands heal up in no time. They were taking a month or so for a little nick to heal up because of the dry skin but uh, now they'll heal up within a week. And he said to me later, he said this is the first year my hands haven't cracked. It happens all the time, that's the good part of it. I mean, the little boy who was totally covered with eczema, and we fixed him. Oh, he fixed himself, like, but he's using the cream. He sent me a Father's Day card and a Christmas card every year for years. He actually sent me a packet of seeds, because he couldn't send me flowers, but he sent me seeds so I could grow my own. I've had people ring up, from, well, one lady ring up from New Zealand in tears. She's finally been able to go outside the house. She was so disfigured with her skin complaint. She hadn't been outside the house in three or four years. She's right now. And the thing is this, all these people have healed themselves. All we've done is to remove the irritation. Remove the irritation, the body heals itself. It's really natural. What's good is it's like a um, barrier cream. So nothing can penetrate it and my pores are still breathing. This, what's good about this, it's no scaling, no crusting of or um, splitting for psoriasis and it keeps those scales at bay. About five years ago I went in and I was showing the, the, uh, the chemist and the lady there the cream and the pharmacist wasn't that bad but the lady was very, very interested in natural products. And I thought, well, I'll try it so I could tell people or customers how it works. It won't go away, but it does control it, and it stops it bleeding, cracking, and crusting. Like, I've had ladies bring little babies in, little kids in, to the, to the factory and sit them up on the counter and get the kids to show me how their skin is, how good it is. I mean, this is, this is great. I've got the greatest job description in the world. I stop babies crying. The LNJ product range consists of the flagship product, which is the Invisible Glove for all different skin conditions. We have the Bug Rid, which gives five hours complete protection against any blood-sucking insect. We also have a decongestant that will not burn a newborn baby. And we have the shampoo and body wash, completely unique in as much as they are totally plant-based, contain no harmful chemicals. There's no sodium lauryl sulfate in a plant, and we only use plant extracts. The results we get are brilliant. We've got a, a shampoo, no more itchy scalp, dandruff, seborrhea, no more psoriasis of the scalp, no more split ends. Uh, if ladies have their hair dyed, it won't take the colour out. There's no solvents in it. And the more you use it, the thicker and shinier your hair gets. A bit late for me, but it works.
Well, I wanted to use the invisible glove because when I met Les, I saw a passionate man, someone who actually loved his product. He, in a lot of way, epitomised what I was trying to achieve, which is to spread that word and to, and to encourage people to use products that were ethical, but also contain ingredients that weren't going to uh, upset the delicate immune system. And also helping, you know, helping uh, particular areas and the invisible glove was assisting the skin in forming a barrier against chemicals and, and, and things in general life that could, uh, could cause health problems. So he was a passionate man, someone who I could just see uh, enthusiasm and knowledge and he just about jumped you know, out of the stall to, to talk to people as he greeted them. So I just thought, I want to see this guy, I want to talk to this guy. So I met Les, I talked to him, I pretty much pleaded with him, can I distribute your products for you? And at first he, he balked and said, no, at the moment we're okay. But he didn't forget me. So down the track, we made another connection. I, I pestered him and hounded him for the next two years. And finally he said, okay, let's do it. And uh, that was exciting to me. So that was probably about, uh, about eight years ago that we first started distributing the l j products. Well, we purchased the products from l j and we hold them in our warehouse. And then we have various ways of marketing and selling the products to the retailers. Because as the, as the middle person, we get it from the supplier to the retailer in the most efficient and, and uh, fastest way. So we specialise in getting the products to the retailer as quick as possible. And we do that by having sales reps visiting the stores and they go in, demonstrate the product, show them how the product uh, works. If you can get the retailer to be a devotee of the invisible glove, then you've got someone who's training consumers as they walk through the door as well. So uh, just imbibing and, and, and encouraging that message is, uh, is what we try and do best. And we do that with the, with the reps. We also do that on the phone whenever calls come through then the staff are trained in how to answer the questions that may come through about uh, the invisible glove. And, uh, and also through fax streaming, we fax stream out deal sheets to the retailers so that they can uh, easily mark on a sheet, fax it straight back to us, and then we can dispatch the product to them quickly. So the important thing is getting it into the hands of the consumer. We're responsible for getting it from, from the supplier straight to the consumer. It does go off the shelf very quick. Um, customers come in and they buy either two or three, like the Invisible Gloves, the Naturally Body Wash, plus the shampoo. Now it's excellent for eczema, dermatitis, as well as psoriasis. Working in the hair industry, you know, we see a lot of psoriasis as well as like dermatitis, eczema. Um, so I pretty much recommend it to everybody that, you know, they have see photos of the boys and they've seen it on you know, the TV, on Today Tonight and all of that. And so I just became a distributor for the company and I sell it in the salon and it's, it sells very well and people are very, very happy with the product. They come back and they rebuy it. So, and they use it for all different things, you know, just on their hands or cracked heels or whether it's psoriasis on a particular part of the body um, or eczema for young babies or whatever age group really. So it's a very versatile product. Um, what we do is um, we use a company called Unique and this supplies um, our products to us. Well, everything changed on the 2nd of May 2008 when the product was aired on Today Tonight. Uh, it was like a tsunami hit Unique Health products. Um, we changed overnight, we had to change overnight. We had to gear for the biggest ride of our lives really because once it hit the screens, everybody that has skin wanted the invisible glove and that's everybody. So uh, there were people coming into pharmacies, where's the invisible glove? And they wanted to have it straight away. So luckily we had a heads up of about 10 hours. <laughs> and so we managed to get quite a few stores purchasing the product and getting it in store uh, before the customers would come in. But generally speaking, most people saw the facts out and, and thought, well, I'll leave that go, we'll see what happens. And then when it finally hit the screens, they knew they had to do something about it. So we were hit with orders. From, from day one and it didn't stop. We had people up till 11 o'clock packing orders, uh, filling out application forms for new customers. It was wild. We went from a customer base um, of probably about 150 stores that would buy the invisible glove to nearly 2,000 stores that buy the invisible glove as we speak today. And every day, more and more stores come online because they keep getting pestered. Consumers come in, where's this invisible glove? Oh, okay, I'll get some in for you. But right from the word go, we've always said if it doesn't give you the results you want, We'll give you the money back. It's, it's, it's that easy. Nobody should be stuck paying for something that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. Because of this, we've been able to track the, the results of the, of the invisible glove and happy to say that the same as from day one. The, the number of fat times it doesn't work is still way under two in a thousand. So we do actually 
help the babies and it's, it's really, really good. We have a product with a proven track record. As I said, because of our money back guarantee, we can track the success rate and we know the failure rate is less than two in a thousand. When we do fail on dermatitis or eczema, I always advise the people, give them the money back, not a problem, that's, like, that's not a problem. But then suggest they go back to the doctor and look for an underlying infection. And 99 times out of 100, it turns out to be a staph infection of the lower layers of the skin. Because it's not an irritation, it's an infection. We have a product that is absolutely bulletproof. We offer, the manufacturers offer a 100% refund guarantee. If somebody goes to the shop, they give the man the money, it doesn't work, the shopkeeper keeps his money, and we refund and we look after his customer better than anybody else in the world. There's a really good markup available for the shops. They have to pay the rent, they've got to pay their staff. So we have a product that works, covered by a guarantee, that with no, no cost at all to the shopkeeper. They have a really good profit margin, and we're doing the advertising. In my role as company secretary for l and I look after the corporate compliance of the company, uh, ensuring it complies with the Australian laws when it comes to corporate compliance, um, you know, dealing with ASIC, um, and, and also regular contact with the shareholders, ensuring they're up to date on, on the processes of the uh, company and where it's at. We've, we've had to balance an act. It's no good making 100 jars of, or 100 units of cream if you can't sell it. But the converse of that is it's no good selling 100 if you can't make it. So we've had to play a balancing act. We, we've kept quiet. We know what we have. We know how big it is. But if you can't supply, it's no good creating the demand. Yeah, Alan J's product, um, the Invisible Glove, has been uh, uh, highly successful. Uh, and that, that um, in turn, um, you know, made the subscription of those shares um, take up so quickly. Um, the first round sold out within a week and uh, second round about the, the same time. Um, large amounts of uh, mum and dad investors snapped up because of the extremely good product that Alan Jay is producing. The, the capital for the Alan Jay is going to be used to buy new machines um, that will increase productivity uh, immensely. So uh, they will able to certainly get uh, large units of their product out at a very short time with the, with the new machines. We've uh, expanded, we've got machines now, we've gone from a capability of, of six jars in, in five hours, or eight hours, to three and a half thousand hour. We've just doubled that. We've got new machinery going into the new factory. We're our capable, we will then be able to produce as much as we require for at least two years. Uh, but then it's just a matter of more duplication. We've got inquiries from overseas, people wanting to take it overseas and distribute it. We've got other products that we're working on, other things in development, other things that are required. That's, that's, that's ongoing as well, but it's just steady expansion. It's, um, we've taken us nearly 15 years to get here. It's an overnight success, it's just been a really long night, that's all. <laughs>